Hey, 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 you guys. Marche Hanna here, or Oracle DBA Girl. Some of you all know me as from Online DBA Academy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into this. In today's video, I want to talk to you all concerning Oracle DBA programs that could potentially be scams. I would say on average now, at least every other day, I get a phone call from someone who's in a training program, they've been in a training program, or they're considering a training program, but they have questions about, they have, you know, reserves and red flags, and they just want my opinion. So in this video, I just want to talk to you all concerning some red flags that you may want to look out for and just give you some general advice when choosing a training program. So I got my notes here and we're just going to go ahead and jump into this. The first thing that I have is you all please do research on people who are running these programs. I'm noticing that a lot of students, they are just jumping on the opportunity to make $100,000 a year. Like I know that that sounds like a lot of money, you guys but you can't jump past your natural instincts of doing research. Do research on the training program, but not only the training program, do research on the people who are running the training programs. Find out their first and last names and do extensive research. You can use Google to do extensive research. You can uh, see where a person has worked over their careers using Google. You could just play with their name, their first name, their last name, different companies that they say they work at. You can use LinkedIn to do that. You have to do this research, you guys, to know what you're getting yourself into, to know the type of people that you're working to, working with. Not only that, but when you are looking for a program, just like they're interviewing you at times, and nine times out of ten, they probably won't be interviewing you because in a way they just want your money. They're just trying to sell you. But when I talk to potential students, we are interviewing each other. I'm interviewing them and they're interviewing me. We want to make sure that we're both a good fit. I'm looking for someone who have a teachable spirit and I need them to be looking for someone that they can learn from. And it goes a little deeper than that, but when I'm interviewing you, I am trying to get to know you. It's not just about uh, you being a student. I, I can care less about the money. I'm more concerned with finding people whose lives I can change. So I need to see what type of person you are. I I'm looking at a holistic point of view when I'm interviewing you. And for my students, they're doing the same. They want to know, well, who is this person? What is this person about? And we end up having a really good conversation well with most of the people who uh, end up becoming my students. And we also foster a good relationship. So you want to make sure that you mesh with the, the teacher of the training program before signing up. Another thing I would say is ask for recommendation. Who can I speak to that will vouch that this is a great training program? Anyone who calls me, I will allow them to speak to any of my students because I know that I have a reputable company, I have a rep reputable training program, and I would love for you to speak to a student so that you can see what you, be, you will be getting. It's one thing for me to tell you how great my program is, but it's, entire, it's entirely another different thing when you have a student who's actually going through what you will be going through and can speak on what they've learned, what they've gained, the challenges that they face, and how they're able to overcome these things with guidance and the other resources that, you know, my training program provides. So that's one thing I really want to harp on and stress. Please do extensive research before you take these classes. You will save yourself a lot of headache, a lot of money, and a lot of time if you do the research ahead of time. Any major decision that you're going to make, make, anytime you're spending over thousands of dollars, anytime you're spending thousands of dollars, you need to make sure you're getting your money's worth. I mean, people don't just have thousands of dollars that they can just throw away for training. So please, you guys, make sure you're doing extensive research. 
So the next thing that I would want to talk about is experience. Verify the experience that the person says that they have. You can do that however you want to. My students, they will ask me questions all day long concerning my experience. I know that they go through my LinkedIn. Um, like I said, when you Google me, you can see the companies that I work for and the years that I've worked for these companies is well known. Um, also, if a person says that they're certified, ask to see their certification. There's ways to validate if a person is current. You know, I would be looking for a person who is OCP certified. The reason I say that is because you would be surprised, but even myself, I've talked to, uh, I'm gonna say students, students who have went through OCA training and now they call themselves teaching other Oracle students and they don't have any experience. They have an OCA certification They've never been a DBA, but they are teaching OCA. So you guys want to be very careful. Anybody can say that they have experience, but they need, they need to be able to back that experience up. If they are working in this field, but they've never had a job, that's a huge red flag. I would even go on to say, look at how many years they've been training, but have been out of the field. There's some trainers who it's been a long time since they've been a DBA, and because of that, uh, they may not be training you on the latest and greatest. Anybody who is training you on 11G, you guys, that's very outdated. The latest and greatest right now is 18C, but 12C is still acceptable because 18C is so new. 18C is so new that there is no certification for it yet. So if they're not training you on 12C, it's a problem. 11G is fading out. You cannot take the 11G certification anymore and receive an OCA certification. You have to do your research. You have to go look at the Oracle certification path. And I'll put that certification path in the link below, you guys. I just need you to do thorough research on this. If a person is training you on an older version, 11G, or anything less than 11G, that's a major issue. So make sure you're being trained on the latest. Right now, 12C is very acceptable because there is no certification for 18C. But you can always stay updated on the versions that's out based off of Oracle certification path. Okay, moving right along. Okay, I have, does it sound good to be true? You need to give yourself that test. When you are talking to someone, when they are just constantly throwing, oh, you can make $100,000 if you take my class in three months, four months, five months, six months, that sounds too good to, tr to be true. I mean, you guys think about it. What, what school you know you can go to and you can do it for two, three, four months and then you can make $100,000. You guys know in the United States, you get paid based off of responsibility. So a lot of times, even as an Oracle DBA, you're paid based off of your responsibility, based off of your experience, based off, based off of you being able to deal with pressure, based off of you knowing how to do research. That's what you're paid six figures for when being an Oracle DBA. So if you don't have that experience, if you don't have the know how to deal with the type of pressure, if you don't have the knowledge, you guys come on, two, three, four months of training to get six figures, something just doesn't sound right for that. I tell my students, anything that you get quick, you will lose quick. Take your time. My training program is a year. It's a year, it's a year long for a reason. There's a lot of information that you will have to observe, absorb. And I need you all to get this knowledge and know this knowledge versus me trying to cram you with a whole bunch of information. One of my students said it best. She said, Marche, I feel like I'm just uh, taking a course for an associate's degree or something. There's so much knowledge here. And you guys think about it, an associate degree, it take you two years to get that. 
the, a lot of these schools are just cramming information in you. They're not training you to the level that you need to be trained. A hundred thousand dollars, and you only went to school for two, three, four months for it, max six months for it. Come on, you guys, that's a major red flag. Anything that you rush to get, you will lose just as fast. There's an adage that says anything worth having is worth fighting for. You have to fight for major things in life. It's not going to come easy. So if it came too easy, you guys, come on. You got you to gotta use, you got to listen to your spirit. Your spirit will let you know something about this sound, sounds too good to be true. Anybody who's just throwing money at you and saying you can get $100,000 and they're not telling you that it won't be difficult. They're not telling you about how you will have to fight. They're not telling you about, you know, the major ups and downs in this field. That's going to be a red flag, you guys. Another thing that I want to discuss. For anyone who have taken a training class and you don't know how to install a database, yeah, more than likely you will scam. If you're taking an Oracle database administrating, administration class, I would think knowing how to install the product is one of the main things that I want to know how to do. For any of those who have not taken a class and you're looking, I don't care if you take my class or anybody else's class, but you need to look at the curriculum. You need to know will you learn the basic foundation and installing a database is a foundational skill but not just installing a database on windows you need to know how to install a database on linux you guys need to look at the curriculum and see am i going to be able to learn this in the time that's allotted because again most people who are taking these training courses have no knowledge of oracle linux Oracle SQL or Oracle Database Administration. Therefore, you have a lot of information you need to learn. So with that being said, you need to ensure that there's enough time allotted for you to take Oracle Linux, Oracle SQL, and Oracle Database Administration. And I can tell you now, anything that's under six months, you guys, you can't do it. I mean, one student or one potential student said to me, well, Marche, Oracle trains for one week. They charge about $4,000 for one week. Okay, but who's going to pay $4,000 for one week? And not only that, but most training companies who are paying that, they're paying it because whoever's taking it should be somewhat familiar with Oracle databases. Somewhat familiar. Most students who are coming to me, they have no knowledge of Oracle database. They're trying to become an Oracle database administration, and they don't know the first thing about Oracle Linux, which is the foundation. If a person doesn't start out teaching you Oracle Linux, major, 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 major red flag, you guys. I can't stress this enough. You have to pay attention to some of the signs that's there. Um, some of the foundational skills that you should learn is how to start up the database, how to shut down a database. You should be able to talk about the Oracle network, the three files within the Oracle network, how they work together. You should be able to discuss the Oracle architecture. You should be able to talk about uh, mounting other databases and how that relates to the architecture, how uh, the different mount modes, um, what happens when you're starting up a database, and what's going on with the control file, what's going on with the parameter files. If you've taken a course and you can't do this, if you can't do a basic, basic installation, you have a problem. I just talked to someone the other day that took a course from someone, and she told me that the person took their laptops and wiped their systems and installed Oracle Linux on it. There's no need to do that when you can use VirtualBox. There's so much virtualization. Um, you guys have to really just do thorough research. If they're not teaching you how to set up your own test environment, they're not empowering you as an Oracle DBA. You want someone who's going to empower you. You want someone who's not going to hold your hand and not just sugarcoat things to you. Someone who's going to be patient and take the time to teach you what you need to be taught versus 
I'm just trying to get you in and not. I'm just trying to make money. You guys, I can't stress it enough. Please do your research. I can't stress it enough. Please take time to find training, a good training program. I will be honest with you and say, yes, you can make $100,000 in this field, but take your time and do it. I started out extremely slow. I started out making $40,000 a year, and then it went up. Every year I got a major increase. It didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen within three, four months. At these training programs that are selling this dream because it is a dream, ask them, what's the ratio of people graduating, uh, getting a job? You know, how many people that's uh, graduating and getting jobs versus people who are not getting a job? You will find out that there's more students who have not gotten a job because they don't know the skills. Um, one student told me that they're training you to pass an interview. You have to memorize a script. You have to learn a script. So when you're talking to recruiters, you just feed them this script, and it sounds like you know what you're talking about. Well, anybody can get past a recruiter, but you can't get past the hiring manager and actual DBAs, because guess what? If you tell me that you got five years of experience on your resume, I'm going to ask you five years of experience type questions. So people are not getting past these interviews, you guys, and you guys need to ask these instructors, let me speak to a student who's taking the course, or let me speak to students who haven't gotten a job yet. Let me see what their take is. I, I saw a testimonial video where a person was saying, yes, I got this job and I'm making $100,000 and I went through a training program to be an Oracle DBA, but the thing is the guy wasn't an Oracle DBA and he was a functional person. Um, someone who tests the application that the Oracle database run on. And so you guys want to be careful with what you're seeing out here because everything you're seeing out here is, is just a lot of gab to get you excited, to get your money. Be careful about that, you guys. I can tell you, Online DBA Academy, we're trying to change lives. I know that this field change my life and I want to see the same happen for you but it's not going to happen for you if you don't slow down do research on these companies and make a sound decision if you move too fast on a decision that you're making it will end up burning you I have a lot of people who call and they want to take my course but they can't because they've been burnt by you know people they've paid five thousand dollars for even taking Oracle RAG Oracle Data Guard if you haven't been a DBA if you've gotten a DBA certification, but you've never worked as a DBA, you're wasting your time taking Oracle RAT. You're wasting your time taking Oracle Database. Slow down, stop. You don't even know what you're gonna be doing on your first job. So focus on honing in on the skills as an Oracle DBA. Figure out the things that you don't know on the, fund on the fundamental levels and work to do better at those than trying to take Oracle Rack and Oracle Data Guard. I've been a DBA for five years and I don't know Oracle Rack. What I'm trying to say to you guys is you're taking these courses and these courses are extremely expensive and you don't even have the foundational knowledge. So please, I'm begging you guys to do the research because I don't want to keep talking to people who are constantly being scammed by people who's just out to get money. I hope this video was beneficial to you guys. If you guys have any questions, please ask. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions. Please give me a call. I'm very transparent, very open. All you guys got to do is call me and we can talk about anything. Not only that, but please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if there's anything you all would like for me to discuss, please let me know. With that being said, Oracle DBA girl, Marche Hannah signing off. God bless.